What's up, people? This is Samurai Bake Pie, and welcome to a single player, uh, cr not creative, but survival flat world. So, in this episode, what we're going to do today is we are going to be showing you an in depth look into the um, Mushu Milker. So there was a big um, request on this. I actually got three different people asking me to show how to do it like real slow and without having watched my videos over a couple thousand times. So here I am just spawning the stuff that we need. We don't need that much alloy ingots or wiring, but you do need some. So I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make the Mushu Milker. And for the sake of not making this an hour long, I'm just going to spawn a Mushroom Cow instead of using the Philosopher's Stone. But if you were in a regular world, then you would use the Philosopher's Stone, and you would use the R key with a power to make, um, to change any animal that you can get inside of it to a, um, Mushroom. So the deployer is going to go underneath it. Then you're going to start building the kind of cage, if you will, where the animal's going to be. So now that we have them here, what we're just going to do for the sake of show, you don't have to do this, but we're just going to put a piece of glass there so you can see it's in there. So now we have our deployer down there, and then we're going to just cut all this out so it's easier to work around. Um, if you are in a actual survival server, I would not undo that because then people can just up and kill your mushroom. That would not be cool. So the first transposer is going to be leading um, so that the items are going to come out of the deployer. It has some pneumatic tubes coming out of it, which are going to lead into a condenser. Now for this to work pretty much 100% you are going to need this entire thing filled with bowls. So it does take a couple diamonds, but, um, or whatever. But not too much. That is going to kill you. So there we go. There's tons of red matter. It, yeah, it does make it look better. And, yeah. So, the next tube... It's going to come up to a different condenser. Which is going to be your chest that you want all the stuff to come into, which in this case is just going to be diamonds. We could do red matter, we could do dark matter. So whatever form of EMC you want from the Mushu Milker. So this side of the transposer items will come in and the smaller side that looks more like a dot or where, where items will come out. So that item will come in and it will go it'll suck it in on this end. And I should just touch it using a redstone signal and then it'll come out that end. And since we have um pneumatic tubes, it's gonna go into the tubes. And a redstone signal will increase the distance it can pull items and the speed as well. So, that's kind of cool. But it does have to have somewhere to go, and then it will go through the tubing and up into the chest. Your next transposer will be uh, taking items from the um, the bowl chest and placing them into the deployer. I'm going to start with a couple bowls that you need to have in here. Sometimes it does mess up, so you do want to leave an empty spot in here and fill the rest of it. Next, you need to place wiring over both the transposers and the deployer. Then you're going to have it hooked up to a 
whatever source of um, redstone you're going to have, which in this case, the timer is the quickest one, unless you somehow get this to work with computer craft. And at five times a second is as quick as it will go. And voila, your Mushu Milker is already working. Was. Now this is a common problem, but what you need to do is once you do that, you should just be able to fill it up again with bowls, and it should start working properly again. Um, it's really common to have that where bowls will go in and uh, empty bowls will come out as well, but if you just do what we did and you start with the first slot empty, it's going to fill up the eight bowls already in there and then give you um, empty bowls out, but then just fill it back up with bowls and the mushroom soup will start coming back out and it should work. And then it's nifty because you can just cover all this up now and it looks pretty, you know. You can even fill all that in so you don't just like break it and fall in. You can pretty much hide this pretty darn well too. If you have it like in a basement below your house or something in a multiplayer server, or if you're just doing a single player server, then keep it away from creepers. I suggest obsidian or um, reinforced stone, obviously, because if a creeper blows this up, trust me, it is a pain to fix. We had that happen in one of our Tech It series, and it was not cool. That chest was just a demonstration, so I can get rid of that. And then by the time we're done doing this, we'll show you how much mushrooms we've already gotten in the time that, um, or mushrooms, diamonds we've already got in the time that it's taken for us to cover this all up. We've already got a diamond, and just look how fast that goes. And you have to remember that this does cost a little bit to get the um, condensers, the enough EMC to get a mushroom, but once you get it all set up, it is an infinite source as long as you're in the chunk it's in. Or not the chunk it's in, but as long as you're near it where it's loaded, then um, you will basically always, ooh, epic fail. You will always be able to, there we go, make sure it's worked still. You will always be able to get EMC from this, and let me tell you, this is just a fun way to get quick, easy EMC. So yeah, that's the Mushu Milker, and that's how you make it in depth. And so if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, I will tell you right now, this is pretty much the best way to get diamonds. Uh, there have been, there's there's a couple ones where you farm trees and you use a red matter axe and then, um, some EMC, but that does take EMC and you have to do refill the Klein Star and you have to have a lot more resources needed. This is what, as far as I've found, the cheapest and most efficient way to make infinite EMC. And I think in 20 diamonds it's already paid itself off and after 20 diamonds it's just made itself and this is just one mushroom you can actually hook up multiple mushroom milkers to the same condenser you're just going to need to have um, multiple bold condensers into uh, their separate and um, their receiving deployer and you can just hook up the pneumatic tubes that the mushroom stew comes out of into this condenser and it will go even twice as fast uh, but yeah so it's pretty much free EMC, so there you guys have it, and catch you guys next time.